What's up guys and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. Today we are going to be mixing things up a little bit and we are going to be creating another off-road build. It's been a while since we did one of these and uh, I don't know, I was, I was looking through, there are three SUVs in this game that I really want to do. There's the Land Rover Sport SVR right here, there's the X6 as well as the G-Wagon and uh, eventually we're going to get to all three of these. We're probably going to make them all off-road builds just because that kind of makes a little bit more sense but um the G-Wagon's only a 310 customization, so I think we're going to start with one of these two. And I'm thinking, let's whip the range today, dude. $107,000 sounds good to me. What was it, a, a 165, I think, was our uh, our base rating. And uh, we're going to see what we can do, man. This is kind of a, a suburby mom car. I think all three of these things were. Um, but we're going to be able to trick it out. We're going to be able to, to upgrade it some, add some visual mods, and uh, hopefully turn it into something uh something pretty cool so let's see what we've got so looking at some of these off-road races here almost every single one that i'm seeing is a recommended level 290 you guys can see this is crazy 290 we haven't seen a single one that was under 290 yet or or above i figured it would kind of be that way i figured there'd be it'd be a little bit lower we're not going to be able to max this thing out to 400 but uh yeah it looks like we want to be around a 290 so i'm going to bring this thing up to about like a Maybe a 270 or so. We'll just kind of see where it ends up going. I don't want to go too high. I want to make sure things stay interesting. But let's uh, let's see what we can do here. We're definitely going to throw on some uh, some nitrous. We'll get those five three pound tanks. Going to be useful for off roading. And uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna get it to a good spot, but we're not going to make it op. I want it to uh, I want it to be fairly challenging. So I guess we'll go pro plus here. We could go. Definitely would have put some off-road tires on. Maybe a, a rally differential looks pretty good to me. And then we, we could probably put a an off-road suspension. Do we have an off-road suspension? Speed cross showcase. Guess you can go to our parts shop and put a uh, put a rally suspension on there. All right, we're at 266. I'm gonna see how that feels. I don't want to be blowing all the other cars out of the water, so I feel like we're in a good spot here. Now for customization, this is where we're going to be able to get a little bit crazier. I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got here. So I'm going to take a look at some of the community designs. Looks like we've got a uh, a police wrap here, which is kind of cool, I guess, but nothing nothing really that crazy. We've got a matte white here, which honestly looks pretty cool. I mean, that's that's just typical of a Range Rover, but so uh, we've got a carbon fiber camo mix here. Kind of an interesting one. We've got a blue with a black stripe down the middle. That doesn't look too bad. We've got more just whites and stuff. I'm kind of tempted to make a white off-roading vehicle. You know what I mean? Like that, I feel like that's going to be kind of interesting. Get it a little dirty. Might be kind of fun. Ooh, we've got a, a, a baby blue one here. This, it's not loading. We get this to load. It's not loading. Interesting. All right. I think uh, I think I'm gonna go back. Let's just let's let's go with that that first white one we saw. It's got a couple of, of blacked out accessories and stuff. But we're gonna go ahead and download this and uh, apply it. Looks good to me. Now let's take a look at our um, take a look at our body panels. See if we can throw on some bumpers and stuff. I'm gonna take a look at our front bumper here. Ooh, not bad. Ooh, we could throw a huge bull bar on there. Or we've got a Mansory kit. I mean. Mansory kits are always really, really nice. I think that's what we're going to end up going with. We've got some some different things we can throw on here. I'm going to say I like either that one or this one. I like this one. I like the little anchors that tie it up to the main bumper, so that's kind of cool. Not bad. We can change up the grill a little bit. What do you guys think? I feel like that's kind of cool, the Alchemist. Do we like the Mansory? Do we want to go full Mansory? I mean, it's not bad. It, it It's carbon fiber, but I feel like the Alchemist looks a little bit more interesting. Got a couple of different hood options here. Ooh, carbon fiber from Mansory, or should we keep it? I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep it stock. Um, that's pretty cool too. Though. I'm gonna go with this. We'll go with our, our first, first speed hunters option there. Should we change up the headlights? You can't, you can't really see anything here. Whoa, that really changes it. All right, whatever. I'm down to mix it up. We'll throw a, a little bit of money at that. Looks good. So we've got a couple of wide body options here. Here's the Mansory kit. There's a Speed Hunters option. Oh, that is ugly. Or there's this Speed Hunters option. I think I'm going to go Mansory. It's it's different. It adds a little bit more aggression to it, but it's um, it, it's 
classy. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not too crazy. I'm gonna go with the blacked out Speed Hunters mirrors there. See what we've got for side skirts. Ooh, what do you guys think? I kind of like the Alchemist. Hopefully this is gonna go with our rear fenders. I'm not sure if it will. These are the Mansory rear fenders. Could go with the Speed Hunters or that. Ooh, you know what? That actually, I, I like that in the back, but I think we're gonna stick with the Mansory kit. Kind of a, a little bit of a wide body flare, but honestly not really that much. Like it, it doesn't really, doesn't really change it all that much. What's, what's changing here? I don't see anything changing, so I'm not even, I, I know the last one changes the actual layout, but the other three didn't really do anything for me. So here we go. We've got our rear bumper. What do we want to go with? Mansory doesn't look bad. Alchemist is kind of crazy. Your speed hunters. I'm going to go with the Mansory kit here. Looks pretty solid to me. Rear diffuser. Alchemist. Mansory Carbon. Hmm. Gonna go with the Mansory. Let's keep it relatively uniform all the way throughout. Exhaust. Are we gonna change anything up here? I mean, there's not really a super serious reason to, but we can go with something like that. Not bad. I think there was a, a trunk lid option. What are we gonna be able to change here? Ooh, some nice carbon fiber accents to go along with our Mansory kit, not bad. And we can put a spoiler on there if we want, but honestly, I don't think I can put a spoiler on an SUV, dude. Like, that is just, maybe this. This is the Mansory setup. I guess we'll go with Mansory. I, it just, it's it's ugly and it's completely unnecessary, but we're, um, we're gonna rock with it. All right, honestly, this thing is pretty sick. It's a little classic. But I do feel like it's, uh, I feel like it's, it's pretty sick. Do we want to go with the Mansory side skirts? I feel like we kind of do. I, I didn't mind that look that we had going on, but it just didn't match with the rest of the thing. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. We are going to change up our rim. We've got to get something really, really cool here. Bam! There we have it. So, uh, I went through a few different rim options here. I ended up settling on some Vossens. I don't know. I, I wasn't crazy about any of them out there. Just because I, honestly, I, I think they need to be a little bit bigger. Granted, this is an off-road build, but I mean, with a big SUV, we've got these big arches to fill and stuff. I just, I, I feel like it would have looked better with bigger rims, but this is the max size we can go with. And I don't feel like it looks bad. We've got white as our primary color with the black accents on the inside. And I feel like it kind of goes really well with uh, with everything else we've got going on in this thing along with the red Brimbos to go along with like the little red accents on the side skirts and on the fenders and stuff. This thing is is pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Now, we, we do have to stance it a little bit. We also, I, I just realized, I almost always forget this. Uh, we need to change up our um, change up our license plates. We are definitely gonna change the background to the red option. Gonna go with the red view uh, license plate here. And what do we want to, uh, what do we wanna call it? I don't know, dude. I, I feel like I'm the most not creative person when it comes to this. Sometimes we have some decent name, names, but I don't really know what I want to do with this. So I'm just going to call it the, uh, I'm going to call it the Rova. We're going to go with the Rova here. Do we want a, a license plate on it? I feel like sometimes the, the license plate like frames look decent. So uh, not bad, dude. All right, sweet. This thing looks pretty good. Now let's take a look at our uh, our stance and stuff. Probably going to want to Want to stance it a little bit. Go ahead and drop it down to the ground. Looks pretty good. Do we want to bag it? We could uh, We could put some red nitrous in there. Sounds good. Could give it some red tire smoke. I don't think I'm going to. I don't... Eh, probably not going to give it an underglow because we're probably just going to be racing in, in real time anyway. We can bag it, dude. I mean, that looks pretty sick, but 15K when we're not ever going to use that except for when the car is off. I feel like it's not... It's not really worth it, but whatever, dude. Why not? We'll, we'll go for it. All right, so there you guys have it. I guess we can change up the exhaust sound a little bit. Let's start her up. Not bad. All right, so there you guys have it. That is our Range Rover build. I think it looks pretty good. It is a little bit more classic. We didn't go too crazy here. It's just very well put together. We've got that Mansory kit with all the carbon fiber details. And uh, although it's pretty simple, like I said, I do think it's classy. So let's go do some off-road racing. Not too bad, all right. Nice little burnout there. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing looks so beautiful. Just kind of 
riding through the grass. You got the greens of the, the grass and the trees and stuff. <laughs> and it, it just, I feel like it, it really pops with that, uh, that white and black carbon fiber stormtrooper look here. So this is the, uh, the crazy cowboy race. I noticed this out in the middle of nowhere. It's, um, it looks like it takes place on like a horse, a horse track or something. I, I don't think we've done this race before. We may have. But um, we're going to check it out here, see what we could do. Dude, I like this thing a lot, honestly. I would, I would whip one of these things. This thing is, is beautiful. The Rova. Here we go, baby. So we are a little bit underleveled here. We might be too underleveled. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. But um, we're going to get after it and, and give it our best. This one should... Oh, oh we've got ramps in here. Oh, this is going to be great, dude. This is going to be fantastic. Why, why not hit the jumps, right? Just for fun. It's going to slow us down a little bit, but I'm down. Look at this little, whatever the heck that thing is, beating us right now. Woo! But a ramp on top of him. But to run you over, Zafer. Here we go. So this is the most ridiculous race I think I've ever seen in this game. We have an oval NASCAR type race over next to the main garage, but... I didn't realize we had this one as well. We've got four laps of this. Got a feeling it's it's not going to be too difficult to get this win. Probably isn't the best determiner of whether or not this thing's going to be able to hold its own against a, a higher level of opponents, but at least we're going to have a little bit of fun with it, right? I just had to come check this thing out. Final lap, baby. Here we go. Oh, shoot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 we're good. Are we still, yeah, we're still in first place. We didn't get past there. He's close on our tail, though. Okay, I didn't, I didn't realize, oh, shoot, we're going to hit this ramp, too. I didn't realize that that thing sent you so hard. But we're good. 500 yards remaining. We just got to, just got to hit this last little, little bit. Hopefully going to be able to beat this guy out to the finish line. There it is. All right. First race, first win. Feeling pretty good. Let's try something that's a little bit more difficult, though. So this next one we're going to be going to is called the uh, the Railway to Heaven. I'm not really sure exactly what's happening, but we're going to go for it, dude. So what's kind of fun about this. We don't really do too many off-road races. So every now and again, we're going to have to check out some of these SUVs and make sure that we uh, give, give something new a try. You know what I mean? It's honestly kind of fun just mobbing around the... Uh, the map, kind of messing around, checking out new areas. Haven't been down here since our uh, our main story days. Oh, this is going to be over near the quarry, but it's not going to be in the quarry. Okay. Have we done this one before? I think it's a I think it's a point-to-point -point race, and I don't... I mean, I, at some point, I've raced it, because I wanted to beat all the, the races to unlock certain things, but I don't, I don't think we've actually, like, raced this one on the series yet. Railway to heaven. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to be racing down some train tracks through some mountains. Whew. This is going to be interesting. Look at how beat up our, our range is, dude. That hurts my soul a little bit. We used to have white and black two-tone wheels, and now they're just gray. The whole thing is covered in mud, and we didn't even... Is that a train behind us? You can say we didn't even, like, race that much in that last one. I guess it was a... A dirt horse racing track, so of course it was it was pretty dirty. Dude, this is sick. Are you kidding me right now? We gotta do more stuff like this. I wish they had some, some crazier races in this game. I mean, they've got some pretty decent ones, but a lot of them are, are fairly simple, you know what I mean? There's not too many insane, uh, different challenging ones. I guess that's where the time trials kind of come in a little bit. Dude, we are flying right now. Really, this is just kind of a change of, of scenery, but this is not a difficult race at all. I don't understand how we're so far ahead of these guys. Woo! Just flying through these tunnels. Gonna have to take it left. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, that, that hurts, but I've got a feeling we're gonna be so far ahead of these fellas, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna be okay. Took us a minute for our eyes to adjust from the darkness of the tunnel to the 
brightness of the daylight outside, so. Took a couple of rolls, but. Looks like overall we're still gonna be okay. Only 60% of the way through the race, and we're just chugging along, dude. You stay right in the middle, there's nothing but smooth dirt. They should throw a train out here, dude. Just have, have to dodge some trains going by or something. I didn't even know this was here. I don't remember racing this race. I had to before because it said it was completed, but I definitely, uh, I definitely don't remember it. This is <laughs> the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever done. We can't drift on these train tracks. It kind of locks up our wheels a little bit, so. We're just gonna bounce off them like a pinball and try our best. 93% of the way through, 500 yards remaining, and that, my friends, is uh, the end of race number two. I can't, can't believe it was that easy. $54,000, are you, what? It took two minutes, hardly had a steer, had no competition at all, and we made $54,000 for that. Dude, that's crazy. We started all the way up here. And we pretty much took tunnels all the way down to the south side of the map. That's kind of cool. All right. What's our final one that we want to do? I'm looking for one that might be a little bit more interesting. Might be a little bit more difficult. That's only a 180. We're going to need something tougher than that. The Leviathan. That actually sounds pretty intimidating. All right. I'm, I'm down for that. We're going to fast travel over here. I mean, we're like... 25 points under where we should be here. I was thinking that was going to make things kind of difficult, but as we've said before, the off-road races in this game are honestly just a little bit weird. We'll keep this in mind for our next episode, and, and maybe we might have to under under level ourselves even more. I don't, I don't know. Here we go, baby. Leviathan. I'm pretty sure we've done this one before, but I, I think it's I think it's a solid one. We'll see. It seems like our our range has a pretty good top speed. I'm not going to use our nitrous off the start. I feel like our nitrous has kind of been getting us up into a good position right away. Like I said, I'm, I'm not only trying to win here. I just I want to I want to make things interesting. I want to I want a good hard race. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Yeah, dude. See, we're even though we're under leveled, we're pretty fast compared to most everyone else. Woo! Looking pretty good there. All right, we've got a group of three up here in front of us. We're gaining some ground, getting it done. Nice little pass around three there. We're gonna be Nacho and the Subi. Come on, baby. Yes, sir, beautiful. Got a little right-hand turn here. Kinda took that a little bit wide, but honestly, that's probably gonna keep our speed up. That's probably gonna do more, more good than bad for us. Oof. Going through the, the barriers is not good, though. All right, we're 41% of the way through. I'm going to start using our nitrous a little bit. I think those barriers slowed us down more so than we would have liked. Probably shouldn't have gone so far off-road there. Going to try to make up a little bit of time. We don't really have a ton of nitrous, though, so, like, I don't know how, how much good it's going to do us. We're okay. Yeah, this is... See, this is what I'm talking about, man. This is where it's it's kind of odd the way that the off-road races work because that first place is way gone now. Second and I are, are back here duking it out pretty even with each other. Oh, no, we're starting to catch up to first a little bit. 75% of the way there. I don't... Shoot, first took off again. Come on, baby. We need some more nitrous. Try to stay on the road, the flat sections, keep our speed up as much as possible. Looks like we might be able to get second back here. Whew. Oh, come on, baby. We've got first in our sights. 500 yards remaining. No second's going to get us. Nope, we're going to get it back. There we go. See, that was a little bit better racing there. I think if we wouldn't have hit those barriers, those barricades, we might have been able to take first, but... I don't know. Like I said, it's it's kind of hard to balance these off-road races. I feel like the AI just, they're very unpredictable. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Kind of a fun off-road build.
like I said, eventually we're going to get to that X6 as well as the, uh, the G-Wagon. But uh, for now, let me know what you guys thought of the range. Drop a like, subscribe. Let me know which car we should check out next down in the comments. Peace out.